Hi guys, I am here with Emmy A. Maltese and we're going to give her a fusion inspired style. To do this style, we're going to use a five blade on the trunk of her body, a 30 blade on the pads of her feet, a 10 blade around the eyes and on the tummy and under the tail. So let's get busy. You ready, Emmy? Oh, she's so cute. So absolutely adorable. So we're just going to take a little bit out at the corner of the eyes. Good girl. That's very nice. We're trying not to scoop into the mustache because I want to keep a very full mustache there. And I'll take a 40 blade and come up the bottom lip and keep the hair on the top lip just to create a cute little smile. Next I'm going to take my 30 blade and do the pads of the feet. Now to trim the belly, I'm going to use my tin blade. Good puppy. And using a tin blade under the tail, I'm going to clean her up real nice under here. Now we're switching to a five blade. Good girl. Now we're going to clip her down the front side of her. We're going to take all this hair out under the chest. Good girl. I'm going to bring my clipper up against the grain all the way up to the armpits. The hair under the chin, we're going to clip her off with a five blade. And the hair halfway between the eye and the ear, we're going to trim the half that's closest to the ear with the five blade. Good girl. All right, you ready for a bath? Good girl. I am using Easy Groom Crystal White Shampoo 
and I groom squalling care conditioner for her. That's a good puppy. Yeah, she's a very good puppy. She's a very good puppy. I am using Vetoquinol Ear Cleansing Solution in the ears. This helps dry up any moisture that may have gotten into the ears, loosens up debris and earwax. That's a good puppy. Next, I'm going to trim her nails. And then we will file them. That's a good girl. Before I go back over the body with the clipper, I'm going to brush the hair against the grain.
pegang I go right up to the top knot line When doing your clipper work, you want to keep your clipper flat on the body. And just let the clipper glide over the dog. When trimming this style, I trim down off the back of the back leg a little bit. Trim into the flank a little bit. Make sure we get tight up under the arms. And skim off the big muscles over the legs to help the legs to flare out. We want to create a bell-bottom look. That's a good girl. Skim right off. I trim the underside against the grain all the way up to the armpits. I trim off the entire front end of the dog all the way under the chest. And again, this is a five blade. Using Igram Magic Mist Spray, I'm going to mist over the legs before I start trimming. This will release any static in the legs. And by pushing in on the hair on the legs, I am exposing the hair on the foot so that I can easily trim it around without cutting any of the longer hair that I want to keep. It takes a little bit of training to get your dog to accept this pushing in of the hair. They don't always readily accept it and tend to move their foot away. So just be patient as you get them used to the concept of you just coming in and lightly pushing. Good girl.
Now we're going to spritz the legs again. And start creating our bevels. Angling the shears up off the table just a bit. Making sure not to catch the hair from the tail. I tend to lay my scissors like right on the table and just tilt them. I try to match the bevels front to rear, make sure that they're even. And then turning my curvy shears backwards, I am skimming off the top of the leg and right under the point of shoulder, I'm dipping in just a bit. This helps to enhance the bell bottom effect. And then right in front of the flank, I am turning my curvy shears backwards and cutting in right in front of the rear leg, coming down about an inch. Then turning my shears backwards, I'm skimming off the top of the leg and flaring it out. On the back of the leg, we're turning the shears backwards again, coming down off of the big thigh muscle and coming down in about an inch and a half and just creating a bit of a drop off here. Taking our curvy shears backwards again, we're going to scissor upwards from the back pad going up towards the hock. Now we're going to match the bevels on this side. Put some anti-static spray on. It's important to make sure they're standing four square. It's a good girl, Amy. You're fine. I know you heard your mommy, didn't you? Yes. Did you hear your mommy come in? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, you heard her mommy. Here's a poor, poor puppy. He wants to go home now. Yeah. Be sure to trim the hair that falls off the back side of the tail. This will help the tail to appear more upright and carried well over the back. And it keeps the dog cleaner. Don't forget to match your bevels on the inside of the legs.
What a good girl he is. To do her top knot, we're going to miss the top knot with the anti-static spray. Comb it out. And using our rat tail comb, we are going to go about a half an inch back, create a nice straight line. Missed a little bit of coat conditioner on there to help hold the hair back out of our way. And put our first band in. Use our comb to check to make sure that no skin was caught in there. Make our next line right about the front of the ears. Repeat the whole process. Push this down, comb this up. We're going to put our second band right on top of the first band, about a half an inch up. Like so. Now we're going to put our bow on. Very pretty. And then we're going to bring all the hair from behind the bow. Separate the hair from the ears. Make sure we don't catch any of the ear hair in this. Comb it out. And comb the section before comb it all together. Then put a band right on top of the bow. This holds all the hair nicely and keeps the ponytail back out of the eyes. Good girl. Trim the face. We're combing all this hair up and back. And we're going to trim a nice line right in front of the eyes. With our curvy shears upside down, we're going to create an oval of the mustache. I'm being careful not to trim the eyelashes. trimming off this little bit of hair right on top of the nose so that the nose doesn't have any hair falling over it.
right, Emmy Jane is all ready to go home. She's all beautiful, isn't she? So cute, oh my goodness. He's a good girl. You ready to go bye-bye? Are you ready to go bye-bye? Okay, let's go. Let's go, Emmy Jane. Let's go, Emmy Jane. Oh, it's so cute. Say goodbye.